Now we'll see how Prim's algorithm works for this problem. So here initially something should be source vertex. Let me take E as source vertex, anything random. So if E is source vertex, so and finally your answer that means weight of the minimum span unit does not depend on this E value. I mean source vertex. It can be E or C anywhere. Wherever you start, you get the answer. Not a problem. So if I started E, then what are the visible edges we have? E C, E D, E F. Correct. Out of them, which one is minimum? E C. Correct. So it looks like three is very large value, but still E C should be part of minimum spanning tree. The reason finally we have to connect E in the spanning tree. E should be connected by someone, right? That someone, if you see the possibilities, we have only C E possibility, D E possibility, F E possibility. That's why still I can say that C E is the best possibility to connect E. to the graph so that's why c is 3 correct now c comma e are visible vertices we have to explore all the edges which are connected to e connected to c and we have to find out the minimum value what i do is i go for you know rather than doing this one i go for a different model i directly go to the graph and pick up the minimum edge of course that's not principle of you know prims generally you know how prims works we have to only consider Uh, visible edges but what i do is i just take the edge from the graph as a human being so it will be comfortable for me what is that take the edge and check that it is uh, visible or not that means one of the end of that edge is either e or c example c a b correct but a or b nothing is visible then i can go to next minimum number what is that c d correct c d is one right then i'll pick it because c is visible so in that way i will pick cd after that what is the next minimum number this one still i cannot take because ab is not a and b are not visible but this one is already gone let's mark it what are the other things we have now we have only twos any two i can pick but it should be visible which two i can pick db or df because both are visible and da also visible because d is visible right similarly ca also visible because c is visible so let's randomly pick one thing so we have lot of options here that's what i would like to say so here let me pick d to b so if i pick d to b then it would be 2 correct now after that next minimum number i mean c this time again minimum number will become 1 correct because b is visible now let's connect b to a then i get 1 next minimum number is again 2 so which two we will take so we can take df right which is 2 anything which is 2 now so far if you see here we have 3 plus 3 6 vertices you remember one thing whenever you have a six vertex graph then the number of edges required to form spanning tree is only 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 already we are having 5 so as a human being i can say that this is the end of the algorithm right but generally how this prims algorithm will detect that you know number of edges 5 are already taken or anything you know that we'll see in the implementation but as a human being i'll stop it because i know that already it's form cycle i mean sorry spanning tree now what is the weight of the spanning tree weight of the spanning tree in this one 1 plus 2 3 5 6 9 right so this is about prince algorithm okay so we can start from f otherwise d anywhere we can start and continue and find out things now here one important observation is this is called result right in the result always whatever you have the structure is always tree correct from the scratch from the start itself the result was tree and we were maintaining it we were maintaining the tree from the start to end right so there is a crisql algorithm we are going to study on that crisql algorithm so the result sometimes will become forest that means need not be a tree okay we will see that 